New Fluff and finishes are, by definition, luxury goods. They're things that our customers like to have, but they're not actually necessary in order to play the game. In fact, they don't have any gameplay impact at all. After all, if you got a rare item, you'd like it because it was rare, even if it was an aesthetic that you didn't appreciate. I, like, everyone wants- it's a shit- it's a shit item, but everyone wants it because it's rare. Like, it's just a plain black and brown navel. There's nothing even good about it. Dog shit, man. We're making millions and millions of dollars off this system. Like, this is what a successful system looks like for us. It's the donated item of awesomeness. Epic aw epic donated of epic donated item of epic item of donated awesomeness. I'm pretty sure that was it right there. Basically, that's what it is. There was no way as a customer to look at that transaction besides I just lost two dollars of actual value. The goal was not to put users in a position where they were gambling. It was to put them in a position where they had random chances. And there's, there's a fundamental Doc difference boots. there. Your upcoming epic items of donated awesomeness, golden items of blah blah blah, wicked items of blah blah blah. It's a bit of a tongue twister. You are kind of gambling uh, your virtual currency that you spent real currency on. You know, it, it is good fun. I don't promote gambling, by the way. Don't gamble, except if it's on the wheel of doom. That's completely allowed. How many more? Nine hundred and two. You fucking spent fifty dollars just now. Yeah. Oh my god, Jack! You know that's like fifty McChickens. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna buy some juicy. Juicy Artix points. Okay, it is now time to gamble. And gambling is bad, friends, but sometimes you have to get the Oni set. A giant present slides past me. Right, I'm going to assume that's a travel form. They are willing to sell stupid cosmetics because it's funny or silly and it'll sell without thinking how many of those funny silly stupid cosmetics will prevent the game from being taken seriously as a main mmo stupid silly cosmetics it just cheapens the world it's the type of person who's focused totally on himself and his needs almost to the exclusion of everyone else it stems from a myth in greek mythology in which a person that he's looking for the perfect mate. At any rate, he chances upon a pond and he sits down next to the pond and he sees the reflection of himself and he becomes in love with himself. He's so beautiful, he's so handsome, and he just sits there and stares at himself, totally wrapped up in himself, until eventually he shrivels up and dies. <gasps> Go, let's go. Okay, bro. Hello, I'm Yeah, I really should be opening these. There's an exploit. There's an exploit. No free spins for you, idiot. Whoa! Dragons! Cool! The, I, yeah, but I don't think we've seen. These haven't been in the game before, have they? These look so awesome! I mean, look at AQ3D. AQ3D was their chance to break away from Flash. Their opportunity to get away from Flash. To break away from the medium that has tied them down and limited them as a company, as developers for so many years to show what they could really do by moving into a real game engine where they can flex their muscles. And they decided to make it a mobile game, trading one pair of shackles for another, hindering game development, hindering creativity, and choosing to use underhanded and frankly disgusting microtransaction and money-making 
motives within their game before it had even hit release. Okay, well, we're in closed beta, guys. We got the microtransactions in the game. You can buy 15,000 of those gems. Or you can... Oh my god. If this goes rare, then that'll be worth it. But I, I really doubt this will ever go rare. I assume it's one of those games that's gonna live in beta for the end of time. Oh man, there's so many morphs, there's so many sets, there's so many customization options that have just been unlocked. Like, I feel like it's a brand new... It's a brand new day in the fashion world of AQ3D, folks. Like, stuff's popping. People used to think they needed a custom to flex. No, no. You flex every day, all day, with emperor chests. And I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. You can cut my hair, undress me anywhere. Fuck, I don't know the song. Let's go, Barbie. Let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Oi, it's Cheater! <laughs> Look at that! It's fantastic. You can dress my hair. Undress me everywhere. Because it's a cosmetic. You see, this game is full of cosmetics that it could be the Barbie girl. Okay. I was gonna write a review saying I can't even equip cosmetics. I can't even equip cosmetics in this cosmetic focused game. One out of ten. Just cosmetics, man. That's so stupid. No! I did not mean to do that. No! Give me my gear back. No! Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. People are, it's a bit controversial over Twitter, like, oh great, another money grab. You're pretty much gonna dry these items out so fast. It is the biggest money grab of all time, and this is unacceptable to me. Uh, so very, very pay to win, and not a good chance of getting the item off the wheel. So those players who have to wait 2.5 years to get that, Alina just slapped you in the face. Because they're going to be gone for the people who want to spend $1,000 immediately. This update is a big slap in the face to people. And I'm sorry I have to use it like that. I'm normally not so aggressive with my, t my wording. But this is, I'm, this is how frustrated I am about this. This should not have... Really, this, is, this, announcement, this, announcement, this announcement is unacceptable to me. It just... It just like leeches, like it just sucking people's money. Right? They're just sucking the life out of the game. They're just trying to leech off of the players and gifting, mainly gifting, you know. I don't mind paying the hundred gems to craft faster. Like that's fine. But I, there shouldn't be a timer in the first place. It just feels like I'm playing Candy Crush or like Clash of Clans or something when you put timers in. MMOs like this. I know it's going to be a mobile game, and that's how most mobile games are monetized. <clears throat> okay, and can you talk about the business model? How are you guys going to make any money whatsoever? I season? have no idea. We're doomed. Uh, no, no, no. We can't say that <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> Actually, oh my god! It's a, it's a grill with a pet grill! Don't talk to me or my son ever again! I told a friend of mine, until I get everything, I'm gonna keep spending money. <laughs> People spending their tax returns on the Wheel of Doom. <laughs> oh no. Alrighty. Oh, this is so cool. This is rare, guys. Oh my god, this is rare. Oh my god. We level up and get some free loot boxes because even in a 3D mobile MMO mostly aimed at kids, there's always room for loot boxes. 19! 19 Ultra Res. Let's go! Let's go! Very excited about this. Uh, some people are probably going to be upset. Uh, there's probably people that have rare Doom Wheel items that are like, Oh no, my items aren't rare anymore. Um, yeah, so they're upset. Probably why also Rare is just like a cool thing that people have gotten into with um, AQW. It's a it's a very much a 
um, ego boost thing for a lot of people and so it's kind of become like a community of like rare collectors and so there are a lot of collectors out there that you know hoard rares and then you know they're very proud of it and that's what keeps them playing the game and it's what they why they keep coming back because it was valuable account with all these you know rares on it that they feel feel pride for it like they clearly just want to dump it they clearly want to kill these properties and move on to something else but it makes them money it makes them too much money for them to ignore and so I think that they just continue to milk this with minimal effort so that they can continue to make money and continue to put time and effort into whatever side projects they actually want to do. Whether it's AQ3D or whatever. It was exciting to sort of think about doing this and then exciting to, no, I lie, it wasn't exciting to watch my money drain away in my head, and now I'm questioning my judgement call on this. So, moral of the story is, don't spin the Wheel of Doom. Although, I'm going to spin it again next month, probably. I don't see why not. I don't get why people, uh, people care a lot, way too much about rare items. Like, okay, if you have a rare item, that's cool. It's a rare item, that's cool you have it. Why, uh, I don't know why other people can't have it. I guess the exclusivity of it is what people like. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy. People are actually willing to spend, like, not all their hard-earned money, of course, but quite a lot of it, from what I see. Um, number, the numbers are big, like, the amount of people that spend um, crazy amounts of money is it's nuts. Um, it's dedication. I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. Um, dedication. Uh, people just really nice, like... I would pay 600k at the most for all three not just one item no not just one set no uh, i'm getting really bad shit like it's pay to win strict it's strictly pay to win like if you want to play a pit duel you you know you have to spend money on it those people had to pay to get into that closed beta already that's not okay that's real, real not okay. And that was the start. That was the first line of defense that they had. That was the first... That was most people's first exposure to AQ3D. And that's not a good first impression. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, I'm a little jealous. mad that you're actually your fucking third wheel of fucking dude. This is bullshit, alright? Have you, have you spoken is... to Lix? Lix is on like <laughs> 70. <laughs> And Dustin is on his like 110th Weota already. Dustin, like, it seems like you know. It just sucks seeing that players are take getting taken advantage of, you know? It's crazy. Like, any demands that people make, it's, you know, they're not gonna meet it. No, it's not, nothing's gonna change, guys. I'll probably break the game even more, you know, make some balance changes here and there, but, you know. No, uh, I have a lot of problems with Artix Entertainment as a company. I have a lot of problems with Adventure Quest Worlds. These are... Uh, I have gone into them a lot in the past. Um, a lot of it sums down to Artix Entertainment has through actions, not words, actions time and time again proven that they value making a profit over making a product. That they are willing to put making money ahead of a, their community, ahead of making a game, and ahead of any sense of public relations or public opinion. And that's the kind of company that I am not willing to endorse. understand it'll never be enough you have to ask yourself 
When you finally get the ultimate promotion, when you've made the ultimate purchase and climbed the ladder of success to the highest rung you can possibly climb it, and the thrill wears off, and it will wear off, then what? How far do you have to walk down that road before you see where it leads? None of it was really yours. You got all heated up about it for a while.